The Legend of Zodiac Braves A long time ago, Final Fantasy Tactics I hope that you will be 9th, 97. Translator's Notes What you see before you is a month-long effort to translate the story of Final Fantasy Tactics as much as possible. There are additional materials that have been done, but they have been left out in order to keep this to a reasonable length. In addition to brief descriptions to the various stages, I have included much dialogue translation to provide as much understanding as possible to some scenes. I hope that you will enjoy the story as much as I have. This should be my last words on Final Fantasy Tactics. Please enjoy. Henry. The Legend of Zodiac Braves. A long time ago, long before E Valleys was unified as it is now, this land was divided into seven little countries of Zeritania, Forboham, Lionel, Lanberry, Rosaria, Garayanu, and Malundo. The seven countries continued a fight that would not end, as each country tried to expand its own territory. The war continued for several hundred years, and a young king of Malundo overflowed with ambition. The young king fought hard, leading a large army to take possession of the entire E Valleys. However, the road to victory was dreadfully dangerous. Therefore, the king used a secret formula deciphered using an ancient document, summoned the devil, and tried to use the devil's powers. However, after descending on the world, the devil killed the king and tried to destroy the world. The devil summoned his demons one after another. Twelve braves gathered to fight against the devil. They defeated the demons in an instant, and in time they succeeded in returning the devil back to hell. The braves carried crystals on which they carved the crests of the twelve zodiac signs. Because of that, the people now call them the Zodiac Braves. Equals 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 the Zodiac Brave story equals 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 equals. Officer Cadets Several officer cadets close to graduating were summoned to the lecture hall of the Gariland Royal Academy. A gang of thieves called the Bone Brigade is laying waste the Garayanu region, and a military operation to annihilate the gang is planned with the Northern Sky Knights at the center. The officer cadets are placed in charge of the rear support. Death of his father, Balbanes. Ramusa was seeing a dream. It has been about two years since Balbanes Bialyabu, the famous hero of the Fifty Year War, took to bed because of illness. On his father's figure lying on the bed, Ramusa could not see a trace of the Northern Sky Knight's commander who boasted the strength of 15,000 men. The four children met in a room to witness their father's final moments. An encounter with the swordman Ergus. Ramusa's party rescued a swordsman under attack by the Bone Brigade on the Mandarian Plains. His name was Ergus. Ergus was a member of the bodyguard knight troop of Duke Elmdoa, the Lord of Lanberry and it appeared that he received an attack while on his way to Aguros. The duke was abducted, and the bodyguard's night troop was completely wiped out except for Ergus. Ergus petitioned for the help of the Northern Sky Knights to save the duke. A reunion with Dejudarg. Ramusa found his way to the city of Aguros, the capital of the Garayanu region, and he quickly headed for the castle. Dejudarg, Ramusa's eldest brother, was waiting at the Aguros castle. Ergus petitioned that he wanted to hire soldiers to destroy his comrade's enemy, and Deja Dark scathingly criticized Ergus for his attitude. At Aguro's castle. After his audience with Deja Dark, Ramusa came across his second elder brother Zalbag the Holy Knight, his little sister Alma, and others in Aguro's castle's courtyard. Zalbag, who was leaving to hunt down the thieves, informed Ramusa that a spy he sent out to gather information had cut off correspondence at the trade city of Dorder. Pursue Gustav. Ramusa's party encountered the Bone Brigade in the slum streets of the trade city of Dorder. At that time, he observed the Night Wing Raff, the leader of the Bone Brigade. The party successfully repulsed the Bone Brigade and questioned the captives for the place the Duke was imprisoned. Through the words of the captives, the one who kidnapped the duke was Gustav, the Bone Brigade's sub-leader. It seemed the kidnapping was just a crime aimed for some ransom money. Rescue the Duke Elm Doa. The party successfully attacked the cellar of the Sand Rats. To rescue the duke, they searched the deserted house and saw an unexpected scene there. 
The scene was Wingraff trying to prevent Gustav's kidnapping of the Duke. Gustav criticized Wingraff and lost his life at the end of a life and death battle. Wingraff left the Duke as he was and left to go somewhere. Lord of Garayanu. What waited at the Aguro's castle were not warm words to thank them for the Duke's rescue, it was Dejadarg's cold scolding, condemning the violation of his direct order. Don't disgrace the Bialyabu name, said an angry Dejadarg. There appeared Lord Larg, the present Queen's elder brother and the Lord of Garayanu. The Swordwoman of the Bone Brigade. The military operation to annihilate the Bone Brigade was coming to a big finish. Ramuza raided a small stronghold called commonly the Fortress of Thieves at the southern tip of Garayanu. There he encountered a female warrior. Her name was Malerta. She was the younger sister of Wing Raff, the leader of the Bone Brigade. She was sharply critical of the ruling class such as the nobles, and she challenged them with her anger. The Bone Brigade Attacks The Bone Brigade attacked the Bialyabu residence at Aguros. Because of the military operation of annihilation, the city was left wide open to attack since the defense was inadequate. What the Bone Brigade aimed for was the assassination of Secretary de Jadarg, Lord Larg's senior statesman. The attack was seen as a success, but the assassination ended in a failed attempt due to the active participation of Zalbag the Holy Knight. However, they took Dilieta's younger sister Dita as a hostage. The anger of Dilieta. Secretary Dejabarg, injured by the Bone Brigade's attack, informed Ramuza of the situation with the Bone Brigade's annihilation. He also taught Ramuza that Zalbag was making preparations for an all out attack, and that he did not expect to make this all out assault until Dita was returned. Meanwhile, Ergus advocated that there was no need to help the commoner's girl. Dilieta was very resentful of that remark. Read Whistle. En route for the Jeekton stronghold, Dilieta stopped his feet as he was enchanted by the grassy plain shining golden by the light of the setting sun. Dilieta questioned his one existence. Ramuza, without replying anything, also felt his own powerlessness. Dilieta began to play a tune with the reed whistle, something that was taught by Balbanes when he and Ramuza were kids. One stone in a little ripple. Gorgulos and Wingraff escaped from the pursuit of the Northern Sky Knights and hid inside a windmill cabin located in the Forboham Plains. Wingraff strongly denounced the kidnapping of Dita. There, he received the news of Malerta's death. Consumed by deep sadness and hatred, Wingraff grasped his sword and vowed revenge. And I got away. Snow was falling around the Jeekton stronghold. The remnants of the defeated Bone Brigade have sought shelter in this stronghold but the Northern Sky Knights have already laid siege to it. Gorgulos, who held Dita hostage, was killed by Argus, and Dita too lost her life. Dilieta, after having his little sister killed, succeeded in killing Argus. However, Gorgulos had set explosives in the stronghold, and as the explosions began, the stronghold crumbled to ruins. Princess Ovaria's Prayer it was about one year since the tragedy at Jeekton's stronghold. By that time, tension was high in E-Valleys between Lord Larg and Lord Galtarna over domination after the king's death. It has become a situation where war can happen just any time. Just then, Princess Ovaria was staying in a convent to escape the coming war, and a plan to transfer her to Garayanu was secretly being carried out. In pursuit of Ovaria the Galtarna force has kidnapped the princess, and in the middle of heavy rain Nidaguri is resolved to pursue the Galtarna force to take back Ovaria. Among the Galtarna force Ramuza saw the figure of Dilieta, his dear friend who he thought had died at Jeekton's stronghold. He too joined the pursuit. Reunion with Dilieta Dilieta, who had kidnapped Ovaria, was attacked by the Northern Sky KNGHTS at the Zyrekir waterfall. In the middle of that fight, it was disclosed that the princess kidnapping was a trick of Lord Larg, the second successor to the throne, who plans to assassinate the princess, just at a time when Lord Galtarna was losing his standing among the people. Now that the evil plan has been revealed, Gafugarayan turned out to be the enemy, and Ramuza became the princess ally. The Mechanic A young man was under attack by the Bart Company in the castle city of Zaranda. 
His name was Mastadio. He was one of the mechanics assisting in the restoration of the lost culture that included the gun at the mechanic city of Gorg. The young mechanic, anxious about his father's associations, was unclear about the reasons behind the attack. He petitioned that they all go together to the Lionel Castle to seek the protection of the Cardinal Drakarwa. Ovaria's anxiety. En route to Lionel Castle, the party sought some moment of rest. Agarias was worried about the princess, and Princess Ovaria talked to her about their own personal histories. During that talk, she expressed her distrust of men of power trying to use her for political strategies. Ramusa unintentionally overheard how the princess held such anxiety that cannot be wiped away. He showed her how to blow the reed whistle as he remembered it. Deja Dark's evil designs. Deja Dark, who failed in his trick to kidnap Ovaria, again ordered Gafugarayan to immediately capture Ramusa's party and execute everyone except for the princess. Naturally, his own younger brother Ramusa was not spared from those to be killed. And, from the incident at the Orbanu convent, Deja Dark knew that there was someone out to interfere with his own plans. The Cardinal Drakarwa and the Holy Stone The Cardinal Drakarwa, who keeps his residence in Lionel Castle, warmly welcomed Ovaria and the others and promised to report to the Pope of Lord Larg's plot. Furthermore, the Cardinal showed the Zodiac Brave Stone, the holy stone of a legend in existence in E-Valleys since the ancient times. The holy stone was related to Mastadio's case. Ramusa bid farewell to Princess Ovaria as he heads for Gorg. The men who flock to the holy stone. The crystal excavated under the mechanic city of Gorg was the legendary holy stone Zodiac Stone. Mastadio's father, mechanic instructor Basrodio, feared that someone may use the holy stone for evil purposes, entrusted the Holy Stone to his son to hide it in a safe place. When Mastadio received the Holy Stone, the hands of the Bart Company pursued him. Rescue Bisrodio Cardinal Drakarwa was the person who schemed to plunder the Holy Stones of Gorg by controlling the Bart Company. Through Mastadio's ready wit, the party succeeded in rescuing Bisrodio without handing the Holy Stone over to enemy hands, but Ovaria and Agarias are with the Cardinal. To save them, Ramusa brought along the Holy Stone and hurried to Lionel Castle. A warning from Dilieta. The party again met Dilieta at the trade city of Wargilis. Dilieta advised to take hands off everything concerning Ovaria and the Holy Stones, and he hinted at the existence of a mind that laid behind all this chaos. At times, you cannot limit Yusulf to the best methods to produce the right results. These words left by Dilieta as they parted ways distressed. Ray Musa. The anger of the Cardinal. Deja Dark and Cardinal Drakarwa exchanged a secret agreement to get their hands on the Princess and the Holy Stones. Gafugarayan, dispatched by Deja Dark, planned to use Ovaria as a lure and kill Ray Musa and the others who knew the truth behind the plunder of Holy Stones and the kidnapping of the Princess. Meanwhile, Bart Company's Rudovii, who failed to accomplish his duty with the Zodiac Brave Stone, went under the Cardinal's punishment. A used man, a dead man. Ovaria was confined to a room inside Lionel Castle, and she met Dilieta again. Ovaria rebuked Dilieta just as he passed in front of the Secretary of State Drakarwa. The Secretary and a man appeared in front of Ovaria. As Ovaria continued to resist, the mysterious knight named Vorim Alpha tells a shocking piece of fact. Dilieta, aren't you touching your meal? It'll go to waste if you don't eat it. Ovaria. Dilieta, well, nobody will be sad if you died. On the contrary, most people will be pleased. But, as you know, we won't let you die. Stop being so unreasonable and eat. Ovaria. As I expected, you were also conspiring with the Cardinal. What do you intend to do with me? If you're not handing me over to Lord Lark, then what do you intend to do? Dilieta, originally, just to take you to where you should be. That's all. Ovaria, you're trying to use me just like the others. But I ought to listen to you. Dilieta, there's no other choice for you. This is the only way to keep you alive. Ovaria, what do you mean by that? Dilieta, well. 
Man in knight's outfit, this girl is Ovaria. Cardinal Drakarwa, my princess, how is your mood? If you can behave yourself a bit, then there will be no need for you cry alone in this room. Man in knight's outfit, hmm, this is more than satisfactory for the girl who substitutes as a princess. Cardinal Drakarwa, ha, 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 ha. Mr. Vorumaf, this girl still doesn't know. A knight called Vorumaf, is that so? What a pitiful girl. Ovaria, what do you mean by that? Vorumaf, okay, listen up. You are not Ovaria. Ovaria, hey? Vorumaf, the real princess died a long time ago. You are her substitute. Ovaria, that. That is a lie. Vorumaf, it is not a lie. You are not Princess Ovaria. The old men of the Senate didn't think much of Queen Ruveria and created you. One day, they arranged a substitute just to allow the throne to be succeeded. To expel the bothersome queen. The way they did things was really meticulous. They assassinated her princes, made it look like some death from illness, and placed you in the royal family. Since they did not think that the sickly Omdoria can have a new prince, the throne would automatically be yours. However, Oranas was born. But no, I do not yet know if the prince is actually Omdoria's son. Lord Larg may have Ruveria impregnated by someone else so that his younger sister Ruveria will become the king's mother. Anyway, the old senator's plan was ruined. Ovaria, lies. Absolutely lies. I don't believe you. Vorumaf, you can think whatever you want. It doesn't matter to us if you are the princess or not. We got our hands on a powerful card called the princess. Just that is enough for us. Ovaria, I have the blood of the Atkersha clan. No one can order me around. Vorumaf, well, what would you like? If you were captured by Lord Larg, wouldn't you be executed? We just want to help. We just want to put you on the throne. Ovaria, who the hell are you? Vorumaf, we are not friends of Lord Larg, nor are we people in Lord Golterna's camp. We are just CO operators. Cardinal Drakarwa, Mr. Vorumaf, let our princess cool her head a little. If she understand exactly what is going on, she may refuse our cooperation. Vorumaf, hmm. You're probably right. Let's go Dilieta. Rise of the Lion War. Dilieta showed up taking Ovaria to the Zeltania castle, home of Lord Galtarna. Dilieta was promoted as one of the Lord's top-ranking advisors for being the head planner of the princess kidnapping. Furthermore, he proposed to proceed to the royal capital of Rosaria by leading the Southern Sky Knights. Lord Larg II mobilized the Northern Sky Knights. The great disturbance known as the Lion War began here to divide E valleys into two. Sid, the God of Thunder. Three months after the rise of the Lion War. Along with the enlargement of the battle line, the fighting intensified day by day as the parties failed to make headway in the war situation. Both Lark and Golterna's armies gradually grow more and more exhausted. Ramusa suggests negotiations for peace with the General of the Southern Sky Knights who apparently is lamenting the populace's groans about the growing hunger and heavy taxation. Encounter with Astrologer Orlan En route to the royal capital Rosaria, the party rescued a young man who was attacked by thieves at the coal mining town of Galand. The astrologer named Orlan reacted to the name Ramuza Bialyubia for some reason. Orlan courteously declined an offer to travel together and left, suggesting that they shall meet again. Meeting Zalbag again Ramuza again meets his second elder brother Zalbag at the royal capital, and explained the existence of someone behind the war. However, Zalbag doesn't listen to his words. On the contrary, Zalbag sharply criticized his younger brother for accusing elder brother Dejadarg of wrongdoings in the princess kidnapping. A report came, saying that the southern Sky Knight troops said the Thunder God had broken through the Dogaram Mountain Pass. The Heretic Ramuza beats back the heretic Trill officer Zalmari at the inside gate of Rusoria. He receives the pronouncement of a heretic. Ramuza holds distrust for the church. 
Ramusa reunites with Alma. He hears from her that the Holy Stone Virgo is at the Aban Nu convent, but he cannot enter the convent because he is a heretic. Unable to stop her, Ramusa had to allow Alma to come along. Simon's Confession The Aban Nu convent was already under attack by people looking for the Holy Stone. Simon the theologian collapsed on the floor of the underground library. He confessed the scheme of Pope Funeral of the Rivadas, who aimed to revive the Zodiac Brave legend with the Holy Stones, all under the shadow of war and chaos. Ramusa entrusted his two Holy Stones and the injured Simon to Alma, and then he went after the attackers. Alma, Master Simon. Master, please hang tight. Simon, uh, uh. Miss. Alma. Why? Are you here? Alma, what the hell happened? What happened? Simon, it. It is. Dangerous here. Please escape quickly. They. The Holy Stone. They are here to snatch the Holy Stone Virgo. Ramusa, Holy Stone? Just like Alma said. Simon. That holy stone is a treasure passed down the royal family. When I welcomed Princess Ovaria to this convent, I was entrusted with it by the royal family. As a proof for the princess. Ramusa, who the hell are they? Who are the men after the holy stone? Simon. You, are Alma's brother. Ramusa? Now that, please don't be concerned about them. You may lose your life man's voice, where is the holy stone? Another man's voice, take it easy. It must be here. Look for it. Yet another man's voice, we can descend underground from here. Let's go. Ramusa, I've gotten the stigma of a heretic from the church, and church is after my life. Is that too because of the holy stone I'm holding? Please tell me. Who the hell are these men? Simon. Pope Funeral and his sect are making Lord Larg and Lord Galtarna fight with each other and trying to scrape off their military force, so that they can recapture the church's lost authority. If the war dragged out, not only he can make them lose their military force, he can lower the populace's faith in the royal family. Ramusa, is his true motive to collect the holy stones and resurrect the legendary Zodiac Braves? Simon. Of course. They mean to collect the trust of the populace. Ramusa, however, the cardinal accomplished a fusion with Lukavi. If that is the power of the Holy Stones, it will become a dreadful military force as big as the northern or southern Sky Knight troops. Is that the power what the Pope wants? Simon, you are different from your older brothers. And much like your father, the late Balbanes. You may be able to smash their ambitions. Ramusa, you stay here, I will go after them. Alma, I'll go too. Ramusa, we cannot leave Master Simon alone here. He needs to be hidden in a safe place. Alma. I understand. I'll take care of that. Ramusa, just in case, I am giving you the holy stones. If I don't come back, you will throw them into the Sea of Baguros, okay? Alma. At this time, I cannot do anything. I regret. Not having been born a man. Like you. Ramusa. That's foolish, you are my own blood relative. Alma, brother. Ramusa, take care of Master Simon. Izurido, Temple Knight, you guys stay here. Okay? Magicians, part of Temple Knight troops, yes sir. Ramusa, I will not let you guys do what you want. I will not hand over the Holy Stones to you. Izurido, what's stinking up this place? But it was just fine before. Hey, Ramusa the heretic, hand over your Holy Stones. Ramusa, sorry to disappoint you, but I can't do that. I think you should put down your holy stone right where you are. If you quietly comply, I shall let you guys be. Izurido, do you think you'll beat us? Well then, you'd better come and get the stone by force. The Demon Berias. 
the Temple Knight troops plundered the Holy Stone Virgo and took away Alma. Wing Raff, who wanted power and thus became a member of the Knight Troop, was defeated. When he was about to die, Wing Raff sealed a pledge with the Holy Stone Ares, transformed into the demon Barius slash the legendary Lukavi, and disappeared. Master Simon handed Ramusa the mythical book the Sacred Book of Germanique and then took his last breath. Alma, no, let me go. Wing Raff, eyes Yurido, leave things here to me. Hurry and take this girl with you. Eyes Yurido, here they come. Alma, help. Ramusa. Wing Raff, here you come, Ramusa. Ready, you guys? Now, I've gotten hurt before because I thought of him as a kid. So, use caution. Now, Malerta, I will avenge you. Ramusa, ah, it's you Wing Raff. Has the warrior, who burned with the desire to realize his ideal, stooped to being the church's dog? Wing Raff, you, you who knows nothing about the difficulty of realizing a dream. What do you know? No matter how wonderful an ideal is, if you don't make it come true, it will always be just a dream. Now then, what does it take to make it real? In this world, you cannot do anything unless you have power. I realize that. No matter what he slash she does, a person without power can never realize his slash her dreams. You see me as the church's dog. Say whatever you want. I don't give a damn. However I may despise this, it is I who will get the last laugh. I will surely force you guys into submission. Ray Musa. Wing Raff, you are a pitiful man. Even if your dream fails to come true, people won't forget about you. Your ideals and actions have produced a powerful influence on the valuable views of people, and that has tossed a stone. In the old practices of us nobles. For you, in your own thoughts, there was some meaning and significance to your actions. Even if you didn't choose to do this, Malerta and your comrades would think that your action is regrettable. Even if they are realized by borrowing it from someone, the values of your dreams and ideals will be reduced by half. Don't you think so, Wing Raff? Wing Raff, if so, are you any different from me? Aren't you living for yourself? I don't expect you to understand how it feels to be one of the have-nots. Even if you understand it by logic, you don't have the actual sensations. That is your limit. Reality is a very harsh thing. It's above your comprehension. You have no feeling as to how we were mistreated by you. When there was no reason for us to be mistreated. Wing Raff, ugh. But, I. Can't be defeated. I. Am holding Ares. A member of the Zodiac Braves. There is no No reason, for me to lose. Ramusa, where are you, Wing Raff? Eyes Yurido, are you all right, Wing Raff? Wing Raff, don't mind, me. Go. Go now. Ramusa, Alma. Wing Raff, go. Eyes Yurido. Eyes Yurido, I'm sorry, Wing Raff. Ramusa, wait. Eyes Yurido. Wing Raff, guh. Shit. Am I going to die in such a place without avenging Malerta? I'm. I am going to die, like this. I won't be able to explain this to my comrades. No. I don't want to die. Not, not. Like this. To the person holding the holy stone. Ramusa, what? The holy stone, speaks. The person who holds me. If you make a contract with me, you can combine with me in life forever. Weing Raf, this. This is the secret of the holy stone? Ramusa, no. No, Wing Raf. You must not listen. Wing Raff, help. Me. My name is Berias. I hear your wish. Berias, is this the power of the Holy Stone? Ramusa, Wing Raff. Berias, Ramusa, this power is magnificent. 
no, it is more than just power. Surpassing time and space, the knowledge of several hundred years is carved into my head. Goo, 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 goo. Take it easy. There is much to enjoy later. Goo, 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 goo. It's magnificent. Just magnificent. Barrias disappears. Ramusa, Master Simon. Please, please hang on tight. Simon, this. Ramusa, this book? Simon, this, is the book that Germanique, the younger brother of Saint Ajora, wrote in. For a long time, it was missing, but. I found it in the underground library here. Here, the truth of the Zodiac Brave legend. Was recorded in detail. Ramusa, Master, don't talk any more. Simon, it's all right. I am a guilty man. While I knew of the church's improprieties, I just kept silent and looked on. If you use this book, you can expose the church's wrongs. Use this book. You can get back. Miss Alma. Ramusa, Master. Simon, oh. I feel better now. From now on. It's all in your hands. Ramusa. You, you. Are really a lot. Like, your father Balbanes, when he was young. Ramusa, Master Simon. A magician with foreign looks, are you Ramusa the heretic? Ramusa. Where is Alma? Magician, if you want to get back your little sister, come to Leofane's castle. However, the condition is that you must have the sacred book of Germanique that you got at the convent. Ramusa, what is the significance of that ancient book? Magician, is there any reason why you shouldn't read the sacred book of Germanique? Ramusa, I will not read it. Return Alma to me, and then I won't expose the church's wrongdoings. Magician, you are in no position to make demands or set conditions. This is not the chosen place. We will certainly meet again. The sacred book of Germanique, a book that should document the activities of Saint Ajora, written by the saint's own younger brother Germanique. It was called the Book of Visions. The following is narrated by Ramusa after he read the book. I had been entrusted with the sacred book of Germanique by Master Simon. I held the book and turned over the pages. The sentences were written in the ancient sacred language. There were illustrations here and there, but the contents were heavily damaged, making it hard to discriminate between characters. I thought, what on earth was written in this book anyway? Then, the E. Valley's characters that I am used to reading pop into my eyes. Here and there, comments written in E. Valley's have been added. I thought, who on earth? From looking at the ink used in the comments, it seemed there were old comments from decades ago and new comments from several days ago. When I tried to feel the comments with my finger, the ink smeared a little. Just as I had thought, the ink was not completely dried yet. The handwriting of the characters was all from the same person. I guessed that Master Simon had spent decades deciphering it little by little. I tried to proceed with the reading by relying on the bits of comments. It looked like this book was written by Germanique, Saint Ajora's younger brother. I thought, Germanique? Where have I heard this name before? I guess I learned about him in my history class. Then I remembered. Germanique was the apostle who betrayed Saint Ajora, his own teacher, by selling out Saint Ajora to the Holy Yadora Empire. I thought, a book written by that Germanique still remains today. This is amazing. I turned the pages while suppressing my own excitement. But then an emotional shock struck me that far exceeds the excitement of having this historical heritage. You see, I had thought that this book was just a collection of Saint Ajora's spoken sermons written by Germanique, but I was wrong. This was a record of Saint Ajora's acts, but it was different from the Saint Ajora that we know of. The actions of Ajora as a human being was recorded. First of all, Saint Ajora is not thought to be human. I am not a devout believer of the Grevedu's religion as my second elder brother Zalbag, 
but I do believe that Saint Ajora was the son of God who was sent from heaven to save the human world from chaos. Yes I believed that. So, I continued to read this book. Once, it was a golden age when many airships traveled the skies and in fact nearly filled it, it read. Saint Ajora was born in Velvenia, Rosaria. When he was young, one day Saint Ajora sprang up, walked to a well, and prophesied that soon, a calamity will befall this land. I am now sealing this well, and no one can drink from it. Several days later, the Black Death plagued Velvenia. The people who drank from contaminated well water fell ill and died one after another. However, only the families that believed Saint Ajora's words survived and not fallen to disease. Since then, Saint Ajora became worshipped as the miracle child or the son of God. Then Saint Ajora became the savior, a man sent from the heavens as a member of God. At that time, he was only twenty years old. To understand how this happened, you must first know the Zodiac Brave legend. Here is the legend. A long time ago, long before E Valleys was unified as it is now, this land was divided into seven Liffle countries of Zeratenia, Forboham, Lionel, Lanberry, Rosaria, Garayanu, and Malundo. The seven countries continued a war that would not end, as each country tried to expand its own territory. The war continued for several hundred years, and a young king of Malundo had overflowed with ambition. The young king fought hard, leading a large army to take possession of the entire E Valleys. However, the road to victory was dreadfully dangerous. Therefore, the king used a secret formula deciphered from an ancient document, summoned to devil, and tried to use the devil's powers. However, after descending on the world, the devil killed the king and tried to destroy the world. To oppose the devil, brave men collected the zodiac stones, which were scattered around the world along with the twelve disciples. They resurrected the zodiac braves. They defeated the demons in an instant, and in time they succeeded in returning the devil back to hell. Therefore, they became the saviors of the world. Until now, this was the famous Zodiac Brave legend. Since then, whenever a crisis hits the world, the Zodiac Brave suddenly appeared to oppose it and suddenly disappeared. A similar crisis occurred at a time when Saint Ajora lived. The King of Lanberry, who was after Evelise's throne, summoned the devil and invited chaos to the world. According to the legend, Saint Ajora organized the Zodiac Braves, who gathered the twelve holy stones and defeated the devil. However, according to the reports of the time, Saint Ajora was a bothersome existence more than a hero. The holy Yadora Empire feared Saint Ajora's rise to power, they feared his preaching of the coming of God's country. In those days, there was a much larger church. Clergy of the Farah faith, the predominant religion, feared Saint Ajora's power. The conclusion is obvious. Saint Ajora was captured with a secret tip from Germanique, Ajora's thirteenth apostle. Saint Ajora was executed at the Galgaralda execution site. However, Saint Ajora was the son of God. God's anger stuck at the clergymen of the Farah faith. Right after the execution, Farah Faith's headquarter of Malod sank into the ocean because of some natural calamity. This way, Saint Ajora was welcomed back to heaven as son of God. He become once again a member of God. This is how much I know before reading the sacred book of Germanique. Yes, this is the myth of Saint Ajora that anyone in E Valleys knows by heart. However, the Saint Ajora described in this sacred book of Germanique is a completely different man. According to the book, Ajora was not the son of God. He was a common man the same as us. He held his own ambitions, and he was a man who fought to realize his dreams. Moreover, he was not a brave man who loved peace and gambled his own life to fight for other people. This was the Ajora that was described by Germanique. Ajora, as the founder of a new religion, steadily increased his number of believers. Naturally, Ajora was not just a common nuisance to the empire. But, he was much more than just the face of a new religion. He was working to gather secret information for an enemy country and promote disorder in E-Valleys. 
he was a spy from a country against the Empire. Anyhow, the Empire was scared of Ajora. The Empire ushered in Germany to get some evidence that Ajora was a spy. That's right. Germanique was sent from the Empire to find out what Ajora was up to, and he confirmed that. Ajora was a spy. It appears to be true that Ajora did try to again organize the Zodiac Braves. Germany confirmed that indeed Ajora discovered several of the Holy Stones himself. But, what was the reason behind the reorganization of the Braves? It is not known to me whether or not the young king of Lanberry really summoned the devil. It looks like there was not a single line in the book that suggested that. However, at the same time that Ajora died, a natural disaster did strike Malord. It is a fact that most of Malord sank into the ocean. Here I will cite some lines from the book. These descriptions were especially interesting to me since they were probably Master Simon's personal thoughts. No one has ever laid his or her eyes on this mythical sacred book of Germanique, in fact, its existence has long been the subject of many conversations. Does this book contain the truth? Or is this book some fabrication to destroy the exploits of Saint Ajora? I know the truth. I was once a heresy trial officer. When I worked for the church, many heresy trial officers were afraid of the day when this book becomes uncovered. The church probably think the same. Why? Because what this book states is all corrupt. Dot. Let's say that, after Saint Ajora's death, the church had used his exploits to obtain power. To do that, it had to deify Saint Ajora and make him unified with God. For that, it must not leave any of his occasional bad points in history. Saint Ajora must be the son of God. To do that, it was an intelligent method to use the Zodiac Brave legend, which is widely believed in E-Valleys. As for defeating the devil, it was too easy to make the populace believe that it was Saint Ajora who led the Zodiac Braves. When I got this book, I noticed I had lost my religious faith. However, it was not sad. Why? Because my curiosity to seek the truth had controlled all of my heart. However, at the same time, I committed a crime. I was not concerned about the church telling lies to the populace. It was because I didn't try to censure the church for that. What was that? If I brought out this book to the world, the church would have confiscated this library. To me, there would be nothing more painful than the church confiscating this library which had fulfilled my desire for knowledge. I yielded to my curiosity. Master Simon said that the story about the devil was false. However, I have witnessed the evil power of the holy stones, and I feel that my own opinion is that some evil person is responsible for all this, not the plan of the Pope. Overia and Dilieta. Zeritania Castle. Overia, who ascended the princess throne with Lord Golterna's consent, was deeply hurt by the reality that she was living a life of lies. To Overia overwhelmed with grief, Dilieta promised a new kingdom and life without being used by people. Gradually Overia began to open her heart to Dilieta. Dilieta, oh, you're here. Everyone is looking for you. What is it? Are you not well? Oh, maybe it's rude for me to use such a tone of voice with you? to make friends with your majesty the princess, to know how lovely your temper is. Overia, stop. I beg you, stop. Dilieta. I was mean. I am sorry. Overia, what do you guys intend to do with me? I am not Overia. I suppose I have no value to you guys. So, there is no value in keeping me alive. Dilieta, yes. You are indeed not Overia. You're far from being the princess. I don't even know your real name. It's not clear if you are nobility or commoner. Overia, what on earth was I living for all this time? I grew up and lived as the princess substitute. Foo, foo, foo. It is so strange. Although the princess, I would have had to live out the rest of my life at the convent and away from the royal capital. I thought for a long time as to why only I had to live in this way. However, I thought that, if my perseverance can continue the peace in E-Valleys, that would be okay too. 
Now, what on earth was that sadness and that loneliness for? Dilieta, you are like me. I am a sad person who lived with a false identity. I'm continuing, as always, to be used by someone. I'll be rewarded for working hard? That is such a lie. It's a reality in our world that only people who are close to the reward get rewarded, even if he slash she doesn't work. Many people don't play the roles they are given. The majority of people do play their roles, but they never realize it. I am very sorry for that. But I will not be used. I am going to turn it around and use them. I will make the people who used me pay for that. Ovaria, what are you trying to do? Dilieta, believe me, Ovaria. I will prepare a kingdom suited for you. I will make it. I will guide the situation so that your life will shine. So. Don't cry like that. Ovaria, should I believe you? Dilieta, I will not betray you. I swear on the grave of Tita. My younger sister who died. So, don't cry anymore. A deserter of the Southern Sky Knight troops, damn. Even though we have fled this far, we had to come across a pursuit squad. Ramusa, a reconnaissance unit of the Southern Sky Knight troop. Deserter 1, we want no more of war. We want to return to our hometowns. We have decided that it's better to live, no matter how we may suffer from disgrace or even poverty. We have had enough of killing. We want to return to our home. Towns and live with our families. Ramusa, wait. We have no reason to be after you. We don't wish to fight you. Don't misunderstand us. Deserter 1, don't lie to us. Do you think we'll believe you? You're probably saying that to make us feel so cure so that you can take that opportunity to kill us. This is a trap. Deserter 2, he, hey. He. He is the guy that I saw on the flyer. Deserter 1, what? So what are you saying? Deserter 2, I'm sure. He is the heretic. If we caught him and turned him in, won't we be allowed to desert? Deserter 1, you. Are planning on returning to the night troop? Deserter 2, the credit for the heretic's head rivals that of the enemy general's head. If we return and present his head, won't they allow us to be discharged as a reward? Deserter 1, would they indeed allow us military discharge in exchange for the enemy general's head? Deserter 2, as you know, we will return to our hometowns swarming with soldiers. Even if we return to our hometowns now, we will have to live as deserters, while they are after our lives. Deserter 1, what you say makes sense. Well, let's capture him. No, I won't mind if we killed him. After all, he is the heretic. Sooner or later he will be executed anyway. Just by killing him, we can return to our hometowns. This is our final fight. Ramusa, you know how important your own lives are. Even though you know that. Can you still do such a thing? The son of the thunder god Sid. On Grog Hill drenched with rain, astrologer Orlan again appeared before Ramusa. Orlan is the faithful son of Orlando, the general of the Southern Sky Knight troops. Orlan was someone who knew the church's scheme in seeking the holy stones. Ramusa was distressed by his own helplessness, and Orlan offered words to encourage Ramusa, without changing the course of war. Ramusa. Father, father, what is happening to the world? You. Astrologer Orlan, we meet again. Ramusa the crest of the Black Lion. You are a member of the Southern Sky Knight troop? Orlan, you disposed of the deserters? I didn't think that people of the Bialyubia family would lend us a hand. Ramusa. We didn't fight them because we wanted to. Orlan, I understand. You don't expect to fight when you want to. Isn't that right? It's the same for us. We aren't after them because we wanted to. Do you know? Ramusa, you knew about us. Orlan, ah, there were your name and portrait in the military flyers. Moreover, you're the first-class heretic. 
What on earth should I do now? Ramusa, are you going to hold us captive? Orlan, why must I follow what these deserters tried to do? Our job is to capture the deserters. Our job is not to capture you while you go after your blood relative. Go quickly, before the guys behind me start talking about wanting your head. Ramusa, why do you guys continue the war? Orlan, the war will continue as long as your brothers is sticking their swords at us. Ramusa, if Lord Lark draws his sword, then Lord Galtarna will draw his too? Orlan. No, that is probably not the case. Ramusa, give me a chance to meet Orlando, General of the Souther Sky Knight Troops. There are people who are agitating Lord Lark and Lord Galtarna and trying to gain some benefits from that. We are nothing but dancing their hands. They are the enemies that we should detest. Orlan, why do you want to meet Orlando? Ramusa, my father said. He is the only man that he would call friend. Orlan, Orlando is my stepfather. I will let him know. Ramusa, do you believe me? Orlan, I don't know why they are trying to collect the holy stones. If that is helpful to the people, we do not plan to interfere with that. However, if they are trying to use the legend only for their own benefit, my stepfather will not keep silent about it. In the name of Sid the Thunder God, I can probably promise that we will take punitive actions against them. Ramusa, you guys are aware of the Pope's scheme? Orlan, no evidence has been found. We too are sending scouts, but aren't you more informed about this than we are? Ramusa, if I have evidence of the scheme, will you stop the war? Orlan, you have some evidence? Ramusa, here is Germanique's. No, there is nothing. Orlan. Nobody knows how this war is going to end. However, Stepfather is certainly not wrong in drawing his sword. A knight of the Southern Sky Knight Troop, Orlan, come and join us. Orlan, all right, I am coming now. Goodbye, Ramusa. Don't die now. Ramusa, you are not alone. You have friends. You have friends who would fight and gamble their lives. I am one of those friends. Ramusa, thank you, Orlan. LAFA. A young girl named Lefa was rescued in the castle city Yarder. She told Ramusa about the ambition and cruelty of Balantin, the ruler of Forboham. Valentin was taking advantage of the war and seeking the throne of Evalese. However, Lefa's brother, Maylark, still pledged his obedience to the ruler. He demanded Lefa and Ramusa's presence at Leo Fane's castle in exchange for Alma. A magician with foreign looks, do you understand what you are saying, Lefa? Lefa, brother, you don't understand. We are not tools. We are not tools for murder. If we were over there, we will be manipulated as tools until the day we die. Hey, let's go, brother Maylark. Let's escape together. Maylark, we brother and sister lost our parents in the war. Who do we owe our lives to? If we were not picked up at that time, we would certainly have been left in the wild and died. His Highness the Ruler took good care of us. So this is how you repay him for his kindness. Leifa, Brother, you are being deceived. I have heard that ruler Balantin is the one who took advantage of the war and burned down our village. Why do I think so? He did it so that he could get his hands on the secret art that is passed down in our family, something that only our family knows. He burned down our village in order to get his hands on our two techniques brother your sky dark technique, and my skyway technique. He is the ringleader who killed our father and mother. Open your eyes, brother. Maylark, don't be absurd. Leifa. Even you brother should know? He did something to me. You certainly should know. Maylark, don't say any more. If you say any more, I will. An assassin of the Leo Fane's army, what are doing here, Maylark? They are coming. Maylark, I know. The preparations have all been made. Leifa, brother. The assassin, they are here. 
Ramusa the heretic. Maylark, lay fa. Lay fa, help. Ramusa, you're that guy from that time. Aren't you supposed to wait at the Leo Fane's castle? Maylark, that was until I received his highness words. Now I am here to verify that you guys are defeated here, all without borrowing the force of the Temple Knights. The assassin, Maylark, what the hell does this mean? Leifa has betrayed us? Maylark, don't worry about my sister. I will dispose of her. You guys just concentrate on killing Ramusa. The assassin, but, how do you plan on explaining this to his highness? Maylark, I'll say that you guys think too much. I'll try to tell his highness about Leifa in as few words as possible. Then I'll try to not get killed. Ramusa, she is your little sister? Are you killing your sister? Maylark, heck, I have better run away. Ramusa, are you all right? Leifa, yeah, yeah. Thank you. I, I am. Ramusa, it'll be trouble if they come back. Anyway, let's hide somewhere. Leifa, there is probably one thing that ruler Balantin is after, the throne of Evalis. To do that, he has developed many powerful weapons, earning him the nickname Weapon King, and he has also trained many magicians. Ramusa, there are men who are inciting the ruler Balantin, who has blood connections with the royal family. There are telling him to scheme for the regent's seat, to kill both Lord Larg and Lord Galtarna. Leifa, why do you fight, even when you have been branded a heretic? Of course, I know the reason. But, even if you defeated them, you won't be thanked by anyone. Ramusa, I am not fighting so that I can be thanked by anyone. More than that I inherited the Bialyabu name. I am fighting for my own honor and pride. Leifa, that's a lie. You're not that kind of person. You just cannot tolerate the injustice and wickedness that is unfolding before your eyes. You're not looking for compensation. Ramusa, you're taking me for more than I am. I am not such a noble person. Well, how about you? I must go to Leofane's castle to save my sister Alma. But, have you slipped away in your thoughts? Leifa, I need to get my brother out. Ramusa, why are you and he fighting? Leifa, we are war orphans who lost our parents and dwellings to the Fifty Year War. Even now I cannot forget. The stench of death drifting in the air. The days walking and roaming the mountains of Gerki to beg for food. Balantin picked us up and took care of us. I really though that he was God. Ramusa, His Highness is building many orphanages for the war orphans. On the other hand, he is giving the children with talent talent lessons to train them into professional assassins. That was why you were helped. Leifa, we have the secret art of the Galtenaha tribe. My Skyway technique and my brother's Sky Dark technique. These two techniques are different from any magic system. He wanted that. However, the tribal elders refused to co operate. So, he burned down our village. What he thought was, if he could not make make it his own, he would extinguish it from the world. When he found us brother and sister among the war orphans, he seemed so happy from the bottom of his heart. Ramusa, you know that truth, and that's why you tried to escape. Leifa, when we didn't know the truth, my brother and I loved his highness like our real father. That. Ramusa. Maylark's voice, so, you're hiding here. Leifa, brother Maylark. Maylark's voice, listen, Ramusa the heretic. Hurry to the Leo Fane's castle. Otherwise, you may come face to face with your sister's corpse. Ramusa, just you try to touch Alma with even one finger. I'll get you. Maylark's voice, Leifa, you had better come too. If you don't obey, Ramusa's sister will die because of you. Leifa, you are so mean, brother. I have nothing to do with them. Maylark's voice, that is not an advice, it is a command. Do you understand? Leifa, let's go, Ramusa. Ramusa, 
I'm so sorry, Lei Fa. All because of us. Lei Fa, there is no need for you to thank me. Don't worry. Lei Fa, after they lost their lives in the Fifty Year War, these men can't seem to enter Nirvana. Along with their lingering affections for the present world, they want to once again return to our world. Ruler Balintin's Ambition Ruler Balintin welcomed the Temple Knight troops in Forboham Castle's office. He approached them with a deal. He tried to win the church's support and weapons by offering the holy stones Torua and Scorpio, that he robbed from Isurado, and the existence of Sacred Book of Germanique. But, Vormulf refused the ruler's proposal. He trembled in anger in response to Balintin's rude words. Ruler Balintin, I am very glad you could join us. What do you think of our castle? Compared to the Rosaria castle, it does have somewhat clumsy structures, but I like them. It is different from an ancient castle designed for ruling, this castle is more beautiful because it's built for war. E Valleys has normally been ruled by men with power. This war will prove that the royal family has earnestly lost that power. Valmulf, let's take care of business. Balintin, don't be so hasty. Balintin, let's get right into the subject. Aren't your hands tied? Valmulf, what do you mean by that? Balintin, needless to say, the man who rules E Valleys now is a man with power. But, now, who is the man with power? Is it Lord Larg with his Northern Sky Knight troops? Or is it Lord Galtarna with his Southern Sky Knight troop? No, it's your Templar Knight troop with the Zodiac Stones. Valmulf. Ha, 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 ha. No, excuse me. I didn't think that your highness would believe in such fairy tale. Balintin, oh, then, you guys don't believe it. That is strange. I hear that trouble in which the Cardinal of Lionel died involved the Holy Stones? Valmulf, well, I hear that the Cardinal died of illness. Balintin, why are you after the younger brother of the Bialyubia family? What is the reason for labeling him a heretic and pursuing him? Valmulf, the Temple Knight troops are not concerned with the matters like who is determined to be a heretic. Balintin, oh, I see. It's needless to say that you will not know in spite of anything. However, I wonder what you'll think about this. Call me Lark. Isurido, my father, I have no excuse. Valmulf, what? Is that so? Balintin, we have Scorpio and Taurus. Valmulf, these fools. A Leo feigns knight, excuse me. We have positive proof that someone has infiltrated. Balintin, Maylark, I am leaving it to you. Valmulf, what is it you want? Balintin, first of all, I want to make a request. We want to borrow the power. Valmulf, and if I refuse? Balintin, I'll just expose the church's wrongdoings to the world. Valmulf, I don't need any proof except for the holy stones. Balintin, well, of course. But, what about the sacred book of Germanique? Lord Lark, Lord Galtarna, and the senators will all certainly show interest in it. Valmulf, where, where is it? Balintin, well. I don't know why I should tell you that. Valmulf, now, go to the magicians. I'll start here. Balintin, don't be a fool. You guys have no chance of winning. Valmulf, chances of winning? I can do anything I want with you fragile humans. Isurido, father? Valmulf, don't despise us, Balintin. It is easy to kill you. Balintin, defying words? Valmulf, shall we fight? Okay. I'll show you the power of the Holy Stone. Leifa, brother, please stop already. Let's go together. Okay? Maylark, I guess you now know what happens to traitors. To be pursued, cornered, and finally killed by men who were your allies. Even if you escaped this place, you can't live in security. I am sorry but I won't live that kind of life. 
But, if we safely clear this job, His Highness has promised to release us brother and sister. Lei Fa, brother, do you trust his words? It's a lie. I know it's a lie. If you don't escape now, you'll be a slave all your life. Maylark, I believe His Highness's words. We will be free if I kill him and take the sacred book of Germanique. Ramusa, where is Alma? Maylark, are you worried about your little sister? Isn't that so? You can help to save her life only by quietly handing over the sacred book of Germanique. Leifa, Ramusa, don't hand it over. Even if Brother Maylark say so, once this matter is settled, he will kill both you and your sister. Only hand over the sacred book of Germanique in the end. As long as you have that book, your sister is safe. Leifa, certainly, it's like what Brother said. There is no meaning if we just ran away. But if I neatly resolve the past with my hands. Maylark, wait. Leifa, what are you doing? A night, he, help. Monday, monster. Ramusa, Leifa, Alma. 38 Alma escapes. Imprisoned in the Leo Fane's castle, Alma thought about her brother Ramusa. Suddenly, Alma was surprised by a shriek that broke the silence. A knight of the Leo Fane's army appeared before her and died, warning her of the horror outside. Alma prayed for the knight's happiness in the next world and then stepped out toward the danger. Alma, brother. Hey. A terrible wound. A knight, ugh. Uh. He. Help. That. Monster. Alma, hold on. Hold on. The knight, run away. It's. Dangerous. Here. Ramusa. What on earth is this? Wing Raff, you've come. Ramusa. Well, draw your sword, Ramusa. What's the matter, won't you draw it? If not, then leave here. Ramusa, it's a pity. You are really a miserable person. That you want to get revenge so much that you sold your soul to look heavy. If Malerda knew, how she would mourn and languish. Wing Raff, Revenge? Ha, 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 ha. It doesn't matter if I avenge Malerta. My desire is not so small. What I want is to cause chaos in this world. That's right. It's to hear the screams of weak humans. But, be reassured. Ray Musa. I am going to make a special effort and kill you myself. Ray Musa, the holy stones are the devil's stones. The Zodiac Braves are the Devil's Knights. The legend we believe in was all a lie. Wing Raff, ha, 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 ha. After all, they are God's miracles. It's just that the rulers of that time changed history for their own reason. However, where is the problem with that? There is no reason why they are to blame. Why? It's always the populace that wished for God's miracles. Doing nothing grumbling about everything, making no efforts, and dragging other people's feet. That's what the populace does. So the rulers arrange things that the populace wants. History repeats that over and over again. The rulers certainly may have used the weak hearts of the populace, but the populace is still satisfied with being used. God naturally grew out of the weak hearts of human beings. Only a ghost image. While they are aware of that, the rulers enjoyed that chance. Ramusa, how many of you are depending on the Holy Stone's miracles to subjugate those weak hearts of people? Wing Raff, they are weak people, and they will cling on to the God's miracle. Can you say definitely with confidence that you yourself is really a strong person? Ramusa, I will make an effort. Wing Raff, if so, that effort is already waste. Wing Raff, ugh. You became even stronger. Ramusa, don't run away. Wing Raff. Come out. Wing Raff. Wing Raff, let's settle this right here. He transforms into Barias. The demon Barias, I've kept you waiting. Oh, so you've called your friends. Well then, let me call mine too. 
Come out, my faithful servants. Well, let's go, Ramusa. Let me show you the power of hell. Barrias, Wu. I can't believe it. You're just humans. Ramusa, upon hearing Alma's scream, Alma. The mark of tragedy. Alma was at a loss for words in witnessing the tragedy inside Leo Fane's castle. In the office, Alma received the Holy Stone Pisces form Isurado in his final hours. Vormulf appeared and approached Alma. When he did, the Holy Stone Virgo shined excitedly. Seeing that, Vormulf took Alma away somewhere. Isurado, uh, uh, uh. Alma, pull yourself together. Isurado. The sword. How's my sword? Where is it? You must, kill him, please, turn on the light. It's really dark. I can't see anything. Alma, it's all right now. There's no need to fight. Rest assured. Isurado. Tell. Your brother. As expected, the holy stones, are the power of the devil. My father. He is not my father. With the power of the Holy Stone, he became Lukavi. Ugh. Alma, please, don't talk any more. Isurado, what Ramusa said was, right. If he is not killed, the world will be destroyed. Tell, everyone. It's not the right circumstance for war. If we don't see o operate and fight against it. My sword, where is my sword? Shit. I can't move my arm. Alma, it's all right. Relax. His dead body was in the grand hall. My brother killed him. So, it's all right. You don't have to fight. Isurado, really? Is that so? Well, then I can relax. There is a holy stone inside my jacket. Give that to your brother. Alma, I will certainly hand it to my brother. Isurado, please. Foo. I'm tired and sleepy. I'll sleep a bit. Who is over there? Vormulf, are you over there? I'll send you to that world. Don't be afraid, because I'll kill you without too much suffering. Barrias dying scream, what? Barrias was killed? But your brother is going to have some very bad luck. Well, he is coming this way. Why, why is Virgo reacting? Well, you. This is fine. To meet you at a place least expected. I thought that it needed another hundred years. Well, it seemed like you're the one. Alma, stop. Leave me alone. Vormulf, take it easy. I am not going to take your life. Well, come now. One more power. Maylark fought to protect his sister and was shot to death by Balantin. Leifa broke down and cried before her brother's dead body, and the holy stone Scorpio on her chest released light. Remembering what had happened with Wingraf, Ramusa had a hunch that Lukavi may appear. However, the shine of the Holy Stone did not summon Lukavi. It resurrected Maylark. Balantin, this fool is returning kindness with revenge. Who do you think allowed you to be alive? It's I. It's because of me. I rescued you from the Gerki Mountain. Have you forgotten? Leifa, am I repaying kindness with revenge? Weren't you the one who burned down my village? It was you, Balantin who killed my father and mother. Returning kindness with revenge? No. This is justified revenge. Balantin, it's revenge? You want to have me killed? I am your father? It's I who raised you. Should you kill your father? Well, just you try to kill me. Hum, have me killed. Do you know why you won't have me killed? Why? I think your body will remember, the fear. But, relax. You shouldn't be scared since you enjoyed it. Ha, 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 ha. Maylark, 
Is that true? Is what you just said true? Balintin, even you are trying to defy me? Such ingratitude. Leifa, I'll kill you. Maylark, stop. Leifa. Maylark tries to protect Leifa and gets shot by Balintin. Leifa, brother. Brother. Hold on. Brother. Ramusa, Leifa. Maylark. Balintin, are you Ramusa? Don't move. Well, Leifa, if you want to help Maylark, you'd better give me the Holy Stone. It's the one that Maylark has. Look for it. Yes, bring it here. Quickly. Balintin is killed. A deep man's voice, won't you hand over that Holy Stone over here? Ramusa, you, you are Elmdoa. Why are you here? Elmdoa, you're wrong. Hand it over here. Ramusa, Leifa. Be careful. He is not human. Elmdoa, you're Ramusa the heretic. I didn't say salutation to you. The other day, you were so much help. Thank you. I don't want to imitate Vormulf. I want you to understand that. Well, won't you quietly hand over the holy stone? If you hand it to me, you can try to ask me to help you get back your sister that Vormulf took away. Ramusa, Alma. Where is she? Return her. Elmdoa, aren't you listening to me? Give me the holy stone first. Ramusa, no. I can't hand it over. Elmdoa, are you going to leave your sister to her fate? Didn't you come charging into this castle, facing all this danger? in order to help your sister? Ramusa. Elmdoa, okay. I didn't want to use the more harsh way, but... Celia, Letty, go. The girl is holding the holy stone. Bring back the holy stone. Leifa, brother. Look, the day breaks. The day breaks, and we haven't said anything objectionable to each other. We didn't go away. Look. We haven't finished talking about this. But we seem to have planned to go back to the old village of the Galtenaha clan if the war ended and peace returned. Hey, do you remember? Hey, brother. Say something, brother. Ramusa, Alma. Leifa, what is this? Ramusa, well. Is it reacting to your heart? Your heart is saddened by Maylark's death. Wingraf's despair and resentment called out. There he is. Is it happening again? Leifa, you two are sad? Thank you. Ramusa, no. Leifa. That is. Hey? Maylark, oh. Oh. Leifa, bro, brother. Maylark, Leifa. Here? What the hell happened to me? Leifa, brother. Brother, brother. Thank God. Maylark, it hurts. Leifa. Ouch. Ramusa, the holy stone is here? No one knows who made the holy stones. IT is not evil. IT depends on the user. Heart of deception. Alma was not inside the Leo Fane's castle, and the only thing left in the tragic office room was the holy stone Pisces. The power of the Holy Stone acts according to the heart of its user, Maylark muttered. Ramusa squeezed the Holy Stone Pisces which he had picked up, and thought about his sister Alma. The war has enlarged to cover the entire E Valley's kingdom, and it was about to welcome a new situation. The men squirming in darkness. Maylark sought clues for Alma, and in his talk Vormulfs, the leader of the Temple Knight Troop, name surfaced. It seemed that Pope Funeral's intentions was being used by Vormulf. In order to find out Vormulf's true identity and make sure of his real aims, Ramusa headed for Zerutenia to find his once dear friend Dilieta. Ramusa, Alma. Maylark, it was full of angled body butchered by some incredible force. Leifa, but, your sister was not among them? Ramusa, no, she is nowhere to be found. Maylark, I am sure she was here at this castle. She was led away. 
There were three holy knights that visited this castle. I didn't see anyone else. Ramusa, I killed one who transformed into Berias. Another person. Izurido is dead. Therefore, the last person took her. Malark, won't he return to Malundo, the head temple of the Gravidus sect? Because they are working under the direction of Pope Fuineral? Therefore, I suppose the temple knight who took your sister away returned to Malundo. Ramusa, is that so? I don't think that the Pope knows the secret of the Holy Stones. As proof, Wingraf didn't know the secret of the Holy Stones until he made a pact with the demon Berias. Also, I think that's why Izurido fought with Lukavi to the death. Maylark, but why is the Pope doing this? Ramusa, to control the war in the shadows and to strengthen the Church's ruling power. Certainly, that is probably Pope Funeral's ambition. He is collecting the Holy Stones to seize the hearts of the populace by using the Zodiac Brave legend. Maylark, I guess that is why. Someone is using the Church's ambition? Leifa, who is the Temple Knight that took away Ramuza's sister. Maylark, if I remember correctly, I think it was Vormulf, the troop leader of the Temple Knight troops. Ramuza, perhaps he is the one controlling things from behind the scenes. Maylark, what should we do from here? Ramuza, I think we should try to meet Dilieta at Ziratenia. Maylark, isn't he the man who became the troop leader of the Black Sheep Knights? Succeeding Grimms? Ramusa, it's probably the church and temple knight troops that is in turn controlling Dilieta. Does Dilieta know the true identity of Vormulf? Chapter 4 Somebody to Love The Man with a Holy Stone Orlando returned to Ziratenia Castle from the front line, and Orlan greeted him. Orlan reported to his stepfather a series of holy stone related incidents that occurred all over E Valleys and the movements of the church's temple knight. Troops. Orlando took the holy stone Libra out of his pocket and gazed at it. He has a hunch of the coming fight. Dilieta's thoughts. Ramusa made contact with Dilieta at Ziratenia's church. The Pope was planning to assassinate both Lord Larg and Lord Galtarna in order to give the church unconditional ruling power. Ramusa asked Dilieta the real motive for his actions. Dilieta denied his subordination to the church, and confides his thoughts toward Ovaria to Ramusa. Gears that won't stop. Dilieta and Ramusa destroyed the heretic trial officer Zarumo. A woman appeared before them. This woman magician named Balmafara said she was dispatched from the church, like Dilieta. She reported that the North Sky Knight troop has begun moving toward Basra Fort. In order to avoid a clash between the two armies, Ramusa headed for Basra, following the footsteps of Orlando. Thunder God Sid, arrested. What awaited Orlando as he arrived at Basra Fort was an accusation of treason against Lord Galtarna. Lord Galtarna, who was not aware of the Pope's plan, ordered Thunder God Sid imprisoned despite Sid's insistence of his innocence, gave Dilieta the title of Holy Knight, and gave Dilieta the command of the South Sky Knights. Assassination of Lord Larg. The Knights of the North Sky Knight troops died one after another because of the poison scattered by the Temple Knight named Bok. Even Dejah Dark and Lord Larg fell to the poison. Holy Knight Zalbag came forward to look after them, but before his eyes, Dejah Dark stabbed Lord Larg to death. Zalbag was trembling because of Dejah Dark's act, and Dejah Dark told him of the ambition to rule E Valleys for the Bialyabu family. Sid's rescue. The clash between the armies of Larg and Galtarna was averted because Ramusa released Basra Fort's floodgates. Orlando lost faith in his lord who became blinded by his own ambition, and he decided to escape Basra Fort and travel together with Ramusa to stop the Pope's scheme. Moreover, Sid's own son, Orlan, decided to return to Ziratenia to guard Ovaria. The death of Lord Galtarna. Lord Galtarna was very irritated by the interruption of fighting, something that he had not foreseen. He ordered the South Sky Knight troops to again go for an all-out attack. However, after he received the order, Dilieta finally threw off his disguise of being a subordinate and killed Lord Galtarna. Furthermore, 
Dilietta arranged for a double of Orlando and camouflaged Lord Golterna's assassination as if it was by the Thunder God Sid. Deja Dark's Ambition Temple Knight Rofel visited the Bialyabu residence to intermediate the war. However, Deja Dark promptly turned down Rofel's proposition which meant obedience to the church. In return, Deja Dark exerted pressure on the church. After he suggested suspicion concerning Balbane's Bialyabu's death, Rofel presented the Holy Stone Capricorn. The Grotesques Temple Knight Vormulf was at Duke Elm Doa's Lanberry Castle. In his conversation with Vormulf, the Duke said that their eventual goal is to resurrect the blood-stained Holy Angel. To do that, they needed Alma's body. A report of Ramusa's arrival reached them. The Duke headed for the lower level to greet Ramusa. Mystery of Lukavi Duke Elm Doa committed a transfiguration into Lukavi. During the destruction of Elm Doa, Ramusa reconciliated with the Temple Knight Mariadol, who found out the truth behind her brother Isirado's death. They realized the existence of Lukavi. Mariadol handed over the Holy Stone Sagittarius and told Ramusa that another Holy Stone Capricorn was in Deja Dark's hands. The Betrayal of Dilieta Orlan had been captured as a CO conspirator of Orlando in Lord Golterna's assassination. To clear his stepfather's dishonor, Orlan visited Ovaria. Dilieta showed up and declared how he had used everyone so that he will reign as the hero. Orlan denounced Dilieta for his betrayal of Lord Galtarna. Ovaria received a shock when she overheard Dilieta's words. Miss Fung's poison. Holy Knight Zalbag had overheard the secret talk between Temple Knight Rofel and his brother Deja Dark, and he went to investigate his father Balbane's grave. The result? A poisonous mushroom named Miss Fungs was growing on the grave, providing proof for Balbane's poisoning like what Rofel said. Zalbag learned the truth of this father's assassination by Deja Dark. He stood frozen, in blank amazement, before his father's grave. Discovery of an Iron Ball The mechanic Bisrodio, father of Mastadio, excavated a strange iron ball at the number 57 tunnel underneath the mechanic city of Gorg. The iron ball, completely unknown in regard to its construction and use, somehow showed. Reaction to Ramuse's Holy Stone A mysterious symbol was engraved on the surface of the iron ball, a symbol for Aquarius. The iron ball starts. An iron ball was excavated underneath Gorg. When Ramusa fitted the Holy Stone Aquarius into the iron ball, the iron ball reacted violently and transformed. The iron ball was a iron giant, a mechanical robot built in the ancient times. Began to be active, the iron giant recognized Ramusa as its master and obeyed his commands. Discovery of a seal's trial globe? The mechanic Bisrodio excavated an artifact from the past again at the number 85 tunnel underneath Gorg. This machine, which looks like a seal's trial globe, showed reaction to the holy stone again. On its pedestal, there was a symbol for cancer, an engraving like the one on the iron ball earlier. It seemed that, to make this machine completely functional, a new holy stone was necessary. Cloud summoned. Activated by the Holy Stone Cancer, the machine was a transporter that opened a door to different worlds beyond dimensions. Everyone watched over the machine, and right before their eyes, a young man was summoned. You must go to that place. The stranger, whose name is Cloud, followed the mysterious voice and ran away somewhere. Ray's curse. Ray eyes was Beowulf's dear lover but the lovers were separated by the Jeolousy of a priest who was deeply in love with Rayis. Rayis rejected the priest. The priest was angered by Rayis and casted a curse on Beowulf. However, Rayis sacrificed herself and received the curse. The curse that transformed Rayis into a dragon can be broken by the power of the Holy Stone Cancer. Since Zalbag discovered that Deja Dark poisoned their father, Zalbag goes to Aguro's castle to kill his brother. Ramusa comes upon the scene and helps Zalbag defeat Deja Dark. Unfortunately, Deja Dark has made a deal with the devil using Capricorn, so you have to kill him again. However, Zalbag is teleported away. You'll have to kill your own brothers both. 
You then proceed to Malundo and finds out that Vormulf went to Abanu. Why? Because he is trying to destroy the world by resurrecting Ajora the blood-stained holy angel. So you go to the lowest level of the Abanu library, fall through the seal to transport back to the old Malundo, defeat every demon slash devil you meet, and finish the game by killing Ajora aboard the flying ship. So then you save the world. Inside the Aguro's castle. Dejudark, have you gone insane, Zalbag? What the hell are you doing? Zalbag, brother, can you still inherit the Bialyabu name even with what you've done? Dejudark, are you talking about what happened with Lord Lark? He would have died even if I didn't kill him. Think about it. He was a guy who couldn't fight and had to borrow other people's strength. It was a big mistake for him to start a war. Zalbag, it's disgraceful to kill the Lord, but what I cannot forgive is what you did to our father. Why? Why did you do such a mean thing like assassinating our father? Dejudark, what are you talking about? I don't know. Don't know. Zalbag, I thought maybe I was misinformed by Lord Lark's final words. Why, brother? Why did you kill our father? Northern Sky Knight, Dejudark. Dejudark, Zalbag has gone insane. Seize him. Zalbag, brother. Ramusa, brother Zalbag. In the middle of fight. Zalbag, Ramusa. What you said was right. Our older brother caused the war because of his own ambition and then assassinated Lord Lark. I cannot forgive those actions which takes the Bialyabu name to the dirt. Ramusa, brother Zalbag. Deja Dark dies. Deja Dark, that, that. If you guys didn't meddle. This e valleys would have become, our Bialyabu families. Fools. Transformation. Angry Adramarek, goo, goo, goo. Is that so? Was that so? My foolish brothers. Let me teach you something from hell. Yes. I killed Balbanes. I killed him. After all the chances I gave him for the Bialyabu family to rule, that war idiot. So I dilled him. Goo, goo, goo. That's why, though I'm an expert of the sword, I try to win with the poison, Zalbag is transported away. The scene at Malundo Cathedral. Pope Funeral, you're betraying me. Vormulf, if I get little resistance from, then I can confess and still manage to finish you off. Although this is how it turned out, I didn't originally intend to use such violent method. However, I don't have much time left. Funeral, what? What is it? Vormulf, I needed your cooperation to collect the holy stones, but since the holy stones were gradually snatched up by that little rascal, now that cooperation is no longer useful. Funeral, hell. Help. Vormulf, that wound is deep, but not fatal. If you get medical care soon, you may be all right. So, you say you want help. Where is the entrance to Malundo? I suppose that you know. Funeral, it's at Orbanu. It's under the seal at the lowest level of its underground library. Vormulf, how do I dispel the seal? Funeral, I don't know. It's in that sacred book. Vormulf, again, that little rascal. You are finished business. Funeral, please. Help. Ramusa meets with Vormulf for the first time in the cathedral. Vormulf, are you Ramusa? Isn't this my first time meeting you? I wanted to welcome you with dinner, but unfortunately I have been too busy. Forgive me. For the same reason, I have little time to entertain you. Let me get to the point. If you want you sister returned, you have to hand over the sacred book of Germanique and all your holy stones. You cannot refuse this demand. If you don't hand them over, then just consider your little sister dead. Well, if you understood me, then you had better hand them over quickly. Ramusa, where is Alma? Where is she? Until I can verity she is okay, I cannot hand over the book or the holy stones. Vormulf, 
Didn't you hear what I just said? You have no right to refuse my demand. Let me say it again, hand over the sacred book and all the holy stones. Ramusa hands over the sacred book. Ramusa, just the sacred book for now. The holy stones will be handed over once I can see that Alma is okay, Rofel checks the pages of the sacred book. Vormulf, well? Rofel. It's here. Don't worry. It's just some simple incantations. Vormulf, okay. If you understood that, then we're done with them. It's all right to just leave them, but we'll make them pay for what they did to Berias and the others. Ramusa, you deceived me. During the battle. Ramusa, why are you keeping Alma alive? Vormulf, what? Ramusa, you killed your own son without mercy. Why are you keeping Alma alive? Vormulf, that's not for you to know. If you want to know, you'll have to kill me. Priest. Receive our great father's blessings, as your body returned to earth. May God guide the spirit of Alma Bialyabu to the land of supreme bliss, with the blessed divine protection of Saint Ajora. Farlam, Amen. All present. Farlam, Amen. Mourner 1. It's a pity that she was still young. Mourner 2. Yet, yeah, and all brother and sister have passed away. Mourner 3. It's sad that the youngest brother Ramusa is not buried in the tomb. Mourner 4. The Bialyabu family that continued for 300 years ends here. Astrologer Orlan. I got late, Ramusa, Alma. I had thought about trying to come and see you much earlier but I dreaded the public gaze. Dilieta married Overia. He became the new king because he was the commoner who brought peace to a chaotic e valleys, and ended up marrying the princess. It's the birth of a heroic legend that will be handed down among the populace for some hundreds of years. Like you said, Dilieta may be basically a good guy. When it leaked out that she, his woman companion, was an assassin from Melundo. He pretended to have killed her but allowed her to escape out of the castle. It's probably because he saw himself in her, who was used by Vormulf. The woman points away and leaves, my stepfather. Did my stepfather die while fighting gallantly? I'll come again. Later. Did you really die? I still can't believe that you guys died. Though. It may be true. Ramusa and Alma ride away on top of Chakabas. Wait. Ramusa. Alma. The woman walks in the scene, they are alive. They are alive. Thank you. Since then, no one has caught sight of the two. Orlan Duray reminisces in such a manner. Where does one find good fortune? What possesses them to life for the present? What treasures will they leave behind? The only thing certain is that he is the hero, indeed. Years later, Orlan Duray collects his experiences over a period of five years into a single syllabus. This collection, known as the Duray Papers, was to be presented at Prince Clemens' meeting during which the new possessor of the throne was to be selected, but the church which feared public disclosure of the truth decided to arrest Duray and burn him at the stake for the crime of heresy. The retrieved Duray papers were then confiscated by the church for several hundred years, but I have uncovered the truth. Let me now revive his honor. Let his way of life be absorbed by the next generation. At the remains of the Ziritania church. Dilieta, king of Evalis, I thought you would be here. Everyone is looking for you. Ovaria hugs Dilieta, oh, isn't today your birthday? I've brought these flowers. Oh. Ovaria? Queen Ovaria, you use everyone. You let everyone, including Ramusa, die without helping. Dilieta kills Ovaria and becomes sad. Dilieta, Ramusa, what did you get? I.